Hey there, fellow adventurers and tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Tenergy channel, where we discuss everything related to power. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the most frequently asked questions about the T600 portable power station. We'll be exploring its power capabilities, runtime, charging options, and much more. So without further ado, let's get started. What is the Tenergy T600 portable power station? The Tenergy T600 portable power station is a compact and portable device that stores energy in a lithium iron phosphate battery with a capacity of 600 watt hours. It is designed to provide on the go power for various electronic devices or in situations where grid power is unavailable or unreliable. The T600 comes equipped with 10 output ports. Included are two AC outlets, four DC ports, which are USB-A and USB-C ports. This allows users to power or charge a wide range of devices simultaneously. Additionally, the T600 utilizes lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are known for their stability, high energy density, and long cycle life. This unit has 2000 plus life cycles. They are better than other lithium ion batteries because lithium iron phosphate batteries are more stable and less likely to have thermal runway issues. What devices can the T600 power? The T600 portable power station can power and recharge a wide range of devices as long as your devices stay within the 500 watt limit on the AC ports. Instead of just listing out what devices it can power, let's explore its use in some practical examples. Imagine you're on a camping trip or a weekend getaway. The T600 can be a reliable power source, allowing you to recharge your electronic essentials like mini cooler, drones, speakers, and laptops. It can also power devices such as CPAP machines, ensuring a comfortable and connected camping experience. For remote workers, especially photographers on location, having a T600 can be helpful. It can power multiple lighting setups, such as the Amaran 200X and a newer light. With it, you can focus on capturing the perfect shot without worrying about power limitations. During a blackout or emergency situations, the T600 can power small appliances like lights and a desktop, ensuring visibility and functionality in your workspace or home when the grid is down. It can also charge essential medical devices, such as CPAP machines, maintaining the well-being and safety of individuals in need. Just be aware of the power requirements of your devices and ensure they stay within the AC wattage limit of 500 watts. Some devices, such as those that generate heat or have strong motors, have the potential to exceed this limit. If a device draws too much power and exceeds the T600's capacity, the power station will automatically shut off and the warning icon will appear like this. In such cases, please remember to unplug the device to avoid overloading the unit. How long can it power my device in terms of runtime in a single charge? The runtime of the T600 portable power station depends on the power consumption of your device in watts. You can find your device's power consumption value on the T600 screen when you plug it in. Currently, it shows that the lights use 215 watts of power. Then, to estimate the runtime, you need to divide the T600's capacity, which is 600 watt hours, by the power consumption of your device. So, a fully charged T600 can power the Ameren 200X at its maximum brightness for 2.8 hours. Keep in mind that this is a rough estimate, as actual runtime may be 15 to 20% shorter due to factors such as device efficiency. In this case, it will be 2.4 hours. What should I do when I first receive the T600? We recommend performing an initial charge and discharge cycle when you first receive the T600 portable power station before taking it out on an adventure. Taking this step helps ensure your power station is fully powered on when you first use it. To complete the cycle, follow these steps. First, use the provided charging cable to charge the T600 fully until it reaches 100% capacity once it is fully charged, begin discharging it by using your devices and let it run until the battery level reaches 0%. After discharging the power station, recharge it back to 100%. This will ensure the T600 is fully charged and can accompany you on your adventure. 
How long does it take to recharge the T600? The time required to recharge the T600 portable power station varies depending on the charging method you choose. There are five different ways to recharge this power station, and you can find more detailed information in this video link up here. In short, the fastest way to recharge the T600 power station is by combining the input port with the USB-C port. Doing this will fully recharge the power station within 3.5 hours. When using the provided power adapter and connecting the T600 to an AC wall plug, it takes approximately 7 hours to charge the unit from 0% to 100%. Similarly, if you use a USB-C cable rated at 100 watts, it will take approximately 7 hours to fully recharge the unit. Another way to recharge the power station is with a 100 watt solar panel. Under ideal weather conditions, it takes about 8 hours to fully recharge the unit using solar power. The last way to recharge the T600 is with the provided car charger adapter to recharge it on the go through your vehicle's 12 volts port. This method typically takes around 12 hours to reach a full recharge. It's the best used when for long road trips or while your car is on, so that your car's battery is not overdrained. Which solar panels are compatible with the T600? Any solar panels that provide a DC output within the range of 11 volts to 23.4 volts, along with a cable featuring a DC 5521 barrel connector, are compatible for recharging this portable power station. However, to achieve faster charging speeds, we recommend utilizing solar panels with a minimum rating of 100 watts. How should I store the T600 if I don't plan to use it for a long time? If you're planning to store the T600 portable power station for a long period without using it, we have a few tips for how to store it efficiently. First, make sure the T600 is adequately charged before storing it. Aim for a charge level around 50%. This helps preserve the battery's health during storage. Next. Power off the T600 by pressing the power button or disconnecting it from any power sources. Now, find a cool, dry, and well-ventilated spot to store the T600. Keep it within a temperature range of 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal storage conditions. Remember to check on the T600 periodically during its storage. Every three months, make sure the charge level remains within the recommended range. Don't let it go below 20%. When you're ready to use the T600 again, recharge it to its full capacity before putting it back into action. By following these simple storage steps, you can ensure that your T600 portable power station stays in top condition and is ready for whenever you need it next. Can I recharge the T600 while also powering devices with it? Yes, the T600 portable power station can be charged and discharged at the same time. This feature allows you to have continuous power supply to your devices while the T600 is charging, which can be particularly useful in situations where you need power. However, note that the charging time may be longer when the T600 is simultaneously powering devices as the power is being divided between charging the internal battery and supplying power to connected devices. A good thing to keep in mind is the balance between the number of devices drawing power versus the power that's being provided to the power station. If there are high power devices or multiple devices that draw more power than the portable power station's charging input, it might deplete the battery. And there you have it, all your burning questions about the T600 portable power station answered. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and helped you understand the capabilities of this device. If you found this information useful and enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss an update from our channel. And if you have any more questions or want to share your own experiences with the T600, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, let's stay connected, powered up together, and keep exploring.